hello guys welcome back to this channel this video is about how to connect digital delay timer relay to a magnetic contactor i have my single post circuit breaker here these are my push buttons we have the stop that is number one and number two normally close nc this is the start number three and number four no normally open this is the coil of the digital delay timer this is the coil and over here is the base or the socket and this is the magnetic contactor and over here you can see that you have a whole lot of wiring diagram these are what is going to guide you to do the wiring properly and i also have everything written down here it is the same thing we have on the coil we have the source we have number seven and number two Number seven is where you're supposed to connect your live and number two is where you're supposed to connect your neutral. We have different types of voltage. We have the source AC, DC or whatever. But you could see that we have AC shaded. This side we have AC shaded, 220. We have this side 250 volts AC. That's the maximum voltage. We have contact as five amps. That's the maximum current rating of the digital delay timer relay. And we are going to connect it to our magnetic contactor this type of digital timer really has multiple time range that is you can actually set it in hour you have each hour m minutes s that is seconds or even milliseconds and you will find out at the end of the video i've made a video about this type of digital timer really and i'm going to leave the link in the description down below if you want to know more about this type of digital timer really just go to the description and tap on the link and it will take you directly to that video and for the sake of this video i will not actually go more into this type of digital timer really so i'm going to leave the link in the description down below and without wasting much time let's get started this is my single post circuit breaker and over here we have number one and number eight these are common terminals so if i want to use number five and number six how to link the live the seven is where you're supposed to connect your live how to loop the live from number seven to number eight if i want to use this side and if i also want to use this side to have to loop the same live from seven to number one before i'll be able to use this side the number three and number four the one and eight as i said are common terminals and we have number eight and number five as normally close we have this symbol over here the same number eight and number six are normally open this side too we have number one and number four as normally close the same number one and number three as normally open you could see that we have a triangle at this side and another triangle that's where we have the normally close now this symbol simply means that you can use this side as on delay and off delay and this side too you can also use it as on delay and off delay other delay timer doesn't have this type of features you could see that we only have one side as on delay and off delay and the other side you don't see anything like a triangle that is a different thing but if your timer is having this triangle here and this side to another triangle it means that you can use both sides as the on delay and off delay that is that and a digital delay timer really is an electronic device that controls the timing of an electrical circuit that is that and in this video we are going to use the number five that is the normally close to control the contactor and without wasting much time let's get started with the wiring now in order for this 220 volt timer relay to work there must be a neutral connected to it and also in order for this 220 volt magnetic contactor to work there must be a neutral connected to it this is a 220 volt magnetic contactor there must be a neutral connected to the a2 the a2 you have two of them they are linked together so when you connect a neutral to either this side or this side it is going to work so what I'll do is to connect the neutral first. This is the connector. Okay. We have number two as the negative, that is the neutral. The number seven as the positive, that is the live. So I'll connect the neutral to number two. This is number two, the neutral to number two. On the socket, we have numbers. We have numbers at this side and numbers at this side too. So if you want to connect any cable, you have to actually look at the number before you be able to connect the cable. If you don't look at the number, 
you actually connect the cable to a wrong terminal so how to look at it and because i want to connect a neutral to this contactor to the a2 what i will do is to loop the neutral from this side the socket to the a2 we have on the contactor okay connect it to a2 have a2 on this side okay guys we have our neutral successfully connected now what i will do is to use this red cable and connect the live from the breaker to the push button this is the stop push button normally close one and two so i connect it to number one we have number one at this side this is number one and this is number two so i connect it to one okay this is the start number three and number four and this is normally open and o so i use this red cable and connect the live from number two to number three this is number three now what i will do is to use another red cable and then connect from four to number seven on the socket as the digital delay timer socket so i will use this red cable and connect from four to number seven this is number seven okay now guys i have my live connected to number seven and the neutral connected to number two I want to use this side so what i will do is to loop the live from number seven to number eight so what i will do right now is to use a piece of cable and connect from number seven to number eight now this piece of cable is called a jumper we're actually going to loop the live from this side that is number seven to number eight we have eight on this side to number seven eight you can actually connect from the breaker to number eight it will still work if you don't want to use a jumper and connect the same face from the second breaker to number eight and it is the same thing okay now guys we have the live connected to number eight and we are going to use the normally close that is number five so what i have to do is to use a red cable and connect from five to the contactor a1 this is the red cable we have number five at this side so i connect the cable from this side to the a1 okay we have a1 at this side connect it to it and then screw it guys we are done with the connections so what i have to do is to set my time first before i insert the curl to the base so what i will do is to set my preset time the preset time is actually the time that the load will go off if i want the load to run for three minutes that is the preset time this is the switch wire from number five that's the normally close from number five to the magnetic contactor so when I set the preset time and then turn on the circuit breaker and push the start push button, the contactor is going to start working. And the moment it's reached the time that I've set as the preset time, then it will go off. That is what is going to happen when I start the magnetic contactor. So I'll turn it to seconds. We already have S at this side, so that is seconds. And when I push it to M, that is minutes. And this side is where you are supposed to set that minute if it is hour this side is supposed to set the hour if it is s that's the second this side is where you are supposed to set the seconds 
so right now if i push it to mean this is two minutes and let's say this side 10. this is two minutes 10 seconds this is two hours 10 minutes this is two seconds 10 milliseconds that is how to read it so right now i'll set it to two seconds so what i have to do is to make this side zero zero that is that so i'll insert it okay now when i turn on the circuit breaker there's going to be a flow of current from this side to this side the current is going to be trapped at this side now this is normally closed so automatically there's going to be a flow of current from this side to this side this is normally closed so when i push it it's going to turn to normally open if the stop push button is not pushed this are the normally closed state when i turn on the breaker there's going to be a flow of current from this side to this side and because this is normally open you have no three and four the current is going to be trapped at this side and when i push it there's going to be a flow of current from this side to this side and this cable will take you to the timer relay and because i've connected it to normally close it's going to start working automatically when i turn it on and when that preset time reach then to go off that's the way it works so what i have to do is to turn on the circuit breaker and then push the start push button guys right now you're having a problem now it has read the preset and that is the two seconds but when i remove my hand automatically to go off even if i start it it has gone off we are facing this challenge because you haven't connected something called the hold on the hold on is what is actually going to make the contactor be in the energization state when it's energized without the hold on the contactor is going to behave something like this you remove your hand it will go off so you have to do something called the hold on and with the hold on when i do something like this and remove my hand there's still going to be a flow of current to the magnetic contactor that is the coil there's still going to be a flow of current to that because with the hold on i have to connect a cable from number three to number 13 on the magnetic contactor safety first let me turn it off I have to connect a cable from number 3 to number 18. You have NO. That's normal open. This side to NO. Normal open. And from number 4, a cable to number 14. And with the number 3 to 13 and 4 to 14. This side, because this push button is normally closed, the moment I connect a cable from this side to number 13, automatically, without the start push button being pushed, the cable is going to actually transfer a current from this side to 13 so the moment the contactor energize the open this is normally open terminal the open is going to turn to close and the current is going to flow from 13 to 14 and the 14 will take you to number four and this cable will also take you to the relay and automatically you are connected the e one terminal with this cable so there's going to be a constant flow of current to the relay and the relay will take you to the magnetic contactor the coil the a1 the a2 the a1 is the live and a2 is the neutral that is that so what i have to do is to use this red cable and connect from 13 to 14 we have 14 at this side from 14 to number four or from four to number 14 that's the easiest way From 3 to number 13 you have 13 on this side guys I have a video about how to hold on a magnetic contactor and I'm going to leave the video link in the description down below making two videos a video about the guitar delay timer and also a video about a magnetic contactor hold on i've explained all the things you need to know so i'm going to leave the link in the description down below if you want to learn more about magnetic contactor hold on so guys you are done with the hold on from number three 
to 13 from number 4 to 14 that is that so when i turn on the circuit breaker there's a flow of current from number one to number two and this cable will take you to three and because this is normally open the start push button the current is being trapped at this side and i've looped the line from this side to number 13 so currently there's a live at this side and also the number 13 and with this live the moment the contactor energizes, the open is going to turn to close and there is going to be a flow of current from 13 to 14 and from 14 to number four and this cable will take you to the timer and the timer will also send the current to the contactor coil that is the a1 and we already have the neutral connectors so the contactor is still going to be in the energization state that is that i'll push it i've set it to two seconds right now the two seconds have raised if i set it to let's say five seconds so guys that is how to connect a digital delay timer relay to a magnetic contactor and that is also how to do a hold on from 3 to 13 from 4 to 14 and that is that if you don't do the hold on and you start the contactor the moment you remove your hand the contactor is going to stop that is the importance of a hold on circuit if you remove your hands they're still going to be in the energization state that is how a hold on circuit works guys if you find this video helpful consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the notification button so that anytime i drop a video youtube is going to notify you thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video bye